So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0456 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota P0456 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system, very small leak detected. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off. And the computer's seeing a problem with this, so it's gonna have to be troubleshooting to know why. And some possible causes, well, there could be an EVAP leak, like a bad gas cap or a bad hose, could be the purge valve, could be in the wiring, could be the fuel tank pressure sensor could be the vent valve and possibly the charcoal canister and so the basics of what's going on inside the evap system is that the gas vapors are going to leave the gas tank they're going to go over to what's called the charcoal canister and this basically like stores the gas vapors when the engine's not running and things like this the charcoal canister also has what's called the vent valve which the onboard computer uses to run tests on the system and things like this and then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister so the gas vapors can go up to the top of the engine and up at the top of the engine is going to be a purge valve and the purge valve just opens when the engine's running so the gas vapors can go in and get burnt off and then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape and so there's different components inside of here and this all needs a seal for it to work correctly and this includes the gas cap the gas cap is a part of the evap system so the first thing to do is go examine the gas cap and be sure that it looks like it's good that it's not damaged cracked or anything like that and the inside seal looks like it's sealing up correctly if it does look bad then it could be a good idea to go and replace it if you do replace it it's always a good idea to get an oem original gas cap since sometimes those third-party aftermarket gas caps don't seal up correctly but the first thing you do go examine that gas cap be sure it looks like it's good and so the gas cap looks good. The next thing to go and check is going to be the purge valve. And this is going to be located up on top of the engine somewhere. It'll have like two hoses going to it and a wiring harness. And the purge valve basically just opens up to let the gas vapors go into the engine and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. But the next thing to do is to go locate the purge valve and to test it. I made a video on how you go about testing the purge valve. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link down below in the description. But the next thing to go and do is to check out that purge valve and be sure that it's working correctly. If the gas cap looks good and the purge valve test good and things like this then the next thing that can cause this problem is going to be the charcoal canister which usually also contains what's called a vent valve and if that vent valve goes bad then it could cause issues so it's going to be the next thing to go and check out the charcoal canister and the vent valve will be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere there's some different methods for testing it if you have a good obd2 scan tool there's usually an option inside of there to enable or disable the vent valve and then you can listen and you can hear it click but basically go check it out be sure that it doesn't look like anything's damaged or cracked or leaking the wires all look like they're connected things like this but the next thing to go do is to check out the charcoal canister and the vent valve and so if you go through and you check all those things out and they all test good then very likely at this point there is a leak somewhere inside of the system and one of these hoses that's going around to everything and so if you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever the smoke came out, they would know where the leak's at and they'd be able to fix it. There's some low cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need to check one out. There's also some YouTube videos for how you can make one of these up for like four or $5. But basically the next thing to do is to go around and check out all these hoses that go from the gas tank to the charcoal canister up to the purge valve and, and everything like this. And be sure there's no leaks going on because if there is a leak going on, then it's gonna cause issues. And so if you go through and you can't find any leaks or nothing like that going on then it is possible that this fuel tank pressure sensor has failed and that fuel tank pressure sensor is reporting back to the computer what's going on inside of the system and so if it fails it might just be sending back bad data and there might not be nothing wrong inside the system but the computer thinks there is since the sensor failed the fuel tank pressure sensor is usually located on the fuel pump but if you check everything else out and all tests good then the next thing to go and check is going to be that fuel tank pressure sensor and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a toyota with the p0 four five six code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day